How's it going, everybody? Nerd Rock here, and uh, checking out this new game called Salt. Uh, it's like a pirate-themed, exploration-based, crafting, survival. I don't know. It's really cool, though, so far, uh, from what I can tell. Looks pretty nice, too. Uh, so I checked it out a little bit. So I know a little bit of what we got to do right now. And what that is, is we got to find ourselves a log. <laughs> it's log, it's log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. I wonder how many people even know what I'm talking about. But it's better than bad, it's good. Okay. <laughs> we're going to find a bunch of these logs, and what we're going to do with them is... Ooh, we found a hardwood log, too. That's, that's important there. Um... So let's see, we're going to craft now, we're going to take one of our regular logs, we're going to make that into a club. Oh yeah, so now we're like legit cavemen. And uh, we're going to equip that club. Ooga booga, ooga booga. <laughs> and now if we find uh, any boulders, they're called weak boulders in here, we can smack them. And we'll get little shards of rock and stuff like that, I don't know. I don't know how realistic that is, but uh... It's about as realistic as punching a tree, I suppose. But yeah, I'm now looking for some boulders. I should point out that I am actually playing the free version of this currently. Uh, I've got a rich boulder. Um, so this is the trial version, and the only limitation is you can only go to, I guess, a few different islands. I haven't really figured out what the difference is. I know in the full version you get full procedural generation, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got topaz, flint. Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff in that. Uh, yeah, so right now, this is actually... Everything you're going to see me doing is actually in the free version of the game. And uh, I'll put the link as to where to find the game, of course, in the description. And you guys can try it out. And we can all play this game together and decide how we feel about it. Because, like, so far, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you'll see in just a little while, there's a chest I have to go find. Uh, you get a little book that tells you this whole story about how someone left you this chest. It really doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> we're going to find the chest. It's full of some stuff, and it's going to let us make a boat. And uh, we're going to take that boat to two different islands and basically try to hunt some animals, make some tools, make some armor. A lot like another game we all can think about. <laughs> but uh, this is a very, very different experience. So hopefully it'll be right up our alley here. And here is the chest. So what do we got in here? All the stuff we need to make a boat. <laughs> so let's go to the coast over here. We're going to take out our crafting. We're going to go wooden log and cloth swatch. And we're going to hit craft. Ching, ching, ching. It's going to hit on that anvil. Put that away. And we're going to bring up our boat menu now. Oh, that went really far away. Okay, can I swim to it? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let me get rid of this menu here. <laughs> that, that hasn't happened before where we went into the middle of the ocean like that. Okay, we're on our boat. I mean, this is really cool, right? Um, so, let's see. There's that island, there's that. I guess we'll go, we'll go that way, right? So, we're going to un unleash our sail here. Now, when I was reading about this game, somebody was talking about something. I kind of want to try it once we at least are headed in the right direction here. Um, they were saying that they didn't even know that you can put the sail out, and they were actually getting around just using this rudder as, like, an oar. So I want to see, is that actually possible? Let's see. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really cool that it actually works, because that would work that way, you know, in real life. You can actually just get around that way. Alright, we got the sail open now, because that is, uh, way more enjoyable. Turn this thing around to where we want to go. So yeah, it's like I'm constantly on the lookout for like the next, the next game that I can play with all, all of my buddies in good times, and like the next game I can show all of you. Um, and to be honest, the the types of experiences I'm looking for and they're looking for, and we're all looking for, pretty few and far between. Um, one thing that I seem to have noticed is that we really don't care for the games that are super realistic um, looking. That is. The mechanics can be realistic, but the, the games that are, like, really, um, detailed and visceral, like a game like DayZ, oops, we are going the wrong way, a game like DayZ, um, I'm not knocking DayZ or anything, it's just that it's, it's, it's not the type of game we like, it's, we want a game with a very fun, silly, kind of, like, cartoony atmosphere, 
Um, not really sure why, it's just, that's what appeals to us, you know? I don't mind a realistic looking game here and there, but for the most part I think I'm in line with that. Uh, Minecraft is by far my favorite game, so, yeah! And land ho! Alright. Now, I have one of these... Where is it? I have one of these hardwood logs. I don't know how easy that is for you guys to see, but I'll just I'll just tell you what it says. I have one of these hardwood logs, and I've learned that I can use that to make either a bow or a pick. I really don't know... Oh, look at him go. I think I'm going to make the bow first, because I want to kill some deer and get some anim animal hides and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this. Well, that wants to make that into a club. What do I need? Plant fiber, right? Awesome. Hardwood short bow. There we go. Let me see now. Can I make a regular bow? Oh, I can. Okay, good. We'll save the, the hardwood then. Craft that. And can I make a pick now? Let's see. This. Nope, I guess I need more of those stones. Alright. Let's let's give these things hot bar numbers. Oh, and also I probably should go ahead and craft some arrows, right? So we need a flint stone and we need oh we need regular logs. Okay. So we need to scavenge some more. Get out my club, because you never know what we're gonna find. Oh, and these are more plant fibers, so that's good. Oh nice, and these are good. Great, great, great. We need logs more, but Get what's here first. The other game I have my eye on, which is completely contrary to what I said before, because it is not at all cartoony, it is very realistic looking, is Rust. Uh, that game, that looks like they're really making it into something special, because for those of you who follow the game, I have like one video on the channel of it, for those of you who follow it, uh, it's a very PvP-oriented game right now. Not a very friendly environment, but what it looks like they're doing is really fleshing out all the survival aspects of it, so... Looking forward to that game coming out as well, but, uh... I don't know why I'm talking about Rust while we're playing Salt. <laughs> oh, it's all these one syllable name games, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, let's see, we got all kinds of good stuff right there. Uh, we got some coal. That's gonna be good later if we need to build a campfire. Uh, but right now, we need more logs so we, I can shoot some deer. Do, do, do. <laughs> I just like to hit the trees as I walk by. I keep finding more of these boulders, but we're not finding any logs. I'm not very lucky. Might have to go back to that first island. That'd be terrible. The big thing I'm looking forward to is the, uh... Nice. Um, building some of these other ships in this, because it's not just the raft. You, you know, there's all kinds of crazy ships I'm pretty sure you can build. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just hitting a boulder with a piece of wood. <laughs> I'm to believe this is bashing off bits of rock. I don't know. I don't know about no rocks. Logs, 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 logs. I need some logs. Got tons of plant fiber. We in Jamaica or something? What's going on? Logs! Hooray! Oh, I got a thorn vine. I have no idea what that's for. Okay. Let's try something now. Can I make... Pickaxe. That's a sword. Can I make a pickaxe? No. Very interesting. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. What's this? Headstone arrows. Oh, there's different grades of arrows. Interesting. Well, let's make some regular arrows right now. Awesome. And now we're going to equip our bow, and we're going to equip the arrows. We're going to hunt ourselves some deer. We gonna be eating good tonight. All right, we're gonna find this thing. <laughs> now I feel like we're playing a hunting simulator. I always thought it would be cool because there are games like that that are just 
complete hunting simulators. It'd be really cool if they put some of those features in an actual survival survival game. Because hunting to hunt, I mean, I, I really have nothing wrong with it. In fact, all all the more power to you if you can do it. But hunting just to hunt uh, doesn't really appeal to me. Again, I don't see anything wrong with it, especially if you eat the animal. Um, really, only if you eat the animal. If you kill the thing and put it on your wall, that's kind of messed up. But uh, anyway, I don't have anything wrong with <laughs> any problems with hunting, which is not my, not my thing. But uh, in a survival situation, it changes it for me for some reason. Where are those deer? Ah, oh, there he is. Very quiet. Can I get him in the head? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> he was really upset about the arrow for all of five seconds. Then he decided he would eat some grass. Nice. Okay. And I got the arrows back. That's neat. Oh, I really I have to get it. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Minecraft now. Boom. Man, I just can't stop talking about other games, huh? Awesome. Alright, well, we are doing good here. Oh, and it re-equips the arrow for you. That is cool. Okay. I know there was another one. Yep. Good. Let's see how good of a shot I can get. Ooh, a big whiffer. Where is he? Oh, there he is. If I can get him from back here, guys. Let's see. Oh, he moved. I don't know if it hurt him, but he moved. I think it hit him. Let's see. Oh, it definitely did. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll know how many arrows I pull out of it, huh? It looks like it's three. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we got some good stuff here. Let's see if we can make a sword. Because I have a feeling we are going to find some opposition on the next short sword. Cool. Yeah, I have a feeling the next island is going to be a little bit of a scary place. Uh, let's get rid of this. And make another arrow, set of arrows here. Cool. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> we got our first sword. Okay, now this is always tricky. Or it was the last time I tried it. <laughs> Gotta get the boat off the coast and kind of turn it around. Oops. And, yeah. Not let that happen. Uh. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's that doing? Come on. I wonder if there's a proper way to anchor these things. Probably with a real boat there is. I imagine with a raft this would be a pretty realistic and difficulty with it. Alright, we're gonna head over to that island right there. Which for some reason really reminds me of the Lost Island. You know what that means, of course, that no matter how good this game is, the ending is gonna stink. <laughs> Sorry to any Lost fans out there. Uh, near, far, wherever you are, I believe that my heart will go on. Land ho! Oh, there's a dude there already. Bring it. Bring it. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a Nintendo character. What are they called? Mies? Can I block it? Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's kind of awesome. I like the way that looks. All right, let me, let me put the sail off on this because I don't know why. I just want it to not be on. Okay. All right, so he's got a campfire over there. Let's see if we can set up shop. And I think we're going to call it an episode now. Oh, let's take that guy out first. Bring it, buddy! Oh. oh, he's got a buddy, too. Oh, no, he's gonna kill me. <gasps> oh! Wait, how am I still... I was still swinging there. 
Oh no, how far back am I? Oh, I still have my stuff? Oh, but I don't have a boat, do I? Oh, I do have a boat. That's interesting. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess next episode we're going to revisit that island, and I'll see you then, and I'll try to learn a little more uh, about the game before then. Let me know if you liked the game, let me know if you liked the episode, if you want more videos. Take it easy, guys. Peace.